Okay guys, we've got this uh, water chiller here hooked up. And you can see that I temporarily have the water chiller going straight to the CPU water block. And right now it's uh, sitting uh, 17, 18 degrees, kind of bouncing around a little bit. The CPU is clocked at uh, 5.1 gigahertz on all 16 cores and 32 threads on this uh, CPU here. I've got four NVMe drives. I've got two 960 Pros, 512 gigabytes there. And then I have uh, two uh, 960 uh, gigabyte Samsung Enterprise SSDs that are hooked up to the uh, DIMM.2 slots. So the uh, Enterprise NVMe's are on the CPU side and the 960 Pros are on the PCH side. And I got the 1080 Ti on the uh, Hydro Proper water block. So right now the only radiator that's being used is the uh, top one here that's for the 1080 Ti. The uh, other radiator that's normally for the CPU I have temporarily bypassed with a quick disconnect fitting so it's just looping through the uh, reservoir here and then these hoses I have are just routing right down underneath to the chiller here and it's got its own uh, pump kind of dark under there right now let me see if I can turn the light on here and get some better light may help a little bit so I got another D5 uh, Swift Tech pump underneath there. It's running just straight from the chiller. So I'm going to switch back over to the desktop here, and we can run some benches and check the temperatures and that kind of thing. So hang hang tight. I'll be right back. So before we get started, I need to make sure that I've checked out the dew point. And uh, my room temperature right now is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, the relative humidity here is 34%. Uh, so go to dpcalc.org, um, put in those numbers, and it's telling us 49 degrees Fahrenheit is the dew point. So if I convert that to Celsius, click the radio button there, 9 degrees uh, Celsius is going to be the uh, temperature that we have to stay above to avoid uh, humidity. So right now, as you can see, we've got the CPUs clocked at 5.1. Sorry about my finger getting in the way there. We're running uh, 1.425 volts. And uh, we're getting really close. I, some of the cores were 7 degrees Celsius. So what I did is I uh, came down here and uh, changed the setting. Put it at uh, 49 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 9 degrees Celsius. So that should keep us above the dew point. So right now we still have a few cores that are hovering right around that 9 degrees. Most of them, um, about half of them are above 9 degrees Celsius, so I think we're going to be alright. I'll just keep an eye on uh, condensation to make sure that we don't have any issues. So I'm going to shut down, and here the cooler just kicked off, so it's reaching its temperature. I'm going to uh, shut down a bunch of things here. Kill a bunch of services. So we can get our best benchmark scores.
there are some things that really suck the life out of your performance that are run in the background. The Windows uh, font cache. I'll stop that. Um, if you have Microsoft Office installed, the uh, Microsoft Office click to run service also uh, gives you some over unnecessary overhead. But you just hate how all this new garbage just runs all the time in the background. It's really stupid. Everybody thinks that their software needs to run all the time. So we uh, Punk Buster, Origin Web Helper, uh, any kind of Steam service that you have running in the background, you want to kill that. Uh, most of the services are already killed, so just a few extras there. Windows Search also takes up some overhead. So alright, let's uh, open up Core Temp so we can keep an eye on that. And let's try a uh, W Prime 32M. See what it looks like. Set it to 32 threads. 1.353. Man, this fast, right? Boom. It looks like our highest temperature got up to was 70. That's 1.317. So that's a pretty nice score. I think I'm going to save that. So I'm going to uh, start the uh, theme service again. So I can get the arrow back. Oh, there's that. Get my Ada 64 sensor panel up so everything's nice and pretty. And we'll cue everything up for our glamour shots. Memory, main board, and CPU. I don't know if you can hear it on the video or not. The cooler just kicked back on again. It's not very loud. It's basically like a little refrigerator like you'd have in a hotel room or, you know, under your desk in an office. So that's basically all it is. It's just chilling that water. So there we go. Grab our snipping tool. One point three one seven. Boom. All right. Shut that crap down again. Let's kill the theme service. Shut down Rocket Dock. Now let's run a uh, ten twenty four and see if it passes. Oops, you know what, I think. Oh shoot, I closed that on accident. Alright. User error. <laughs> Laughing out loud. Alright, where's my W prime? So 32, th 32 threads. Boom, let's run it. I'll put up these screenshots at the end of the video so you can get a better look at them. I'm looking at my water block over here and I don't see any condensation so that's sweet. So there we go, that finished in 31.582 seconds, not too shabby. So let's set it up for our glamour shots again. Oops, put the 
the wrong thing again. User error again. pretty nice let's uh without changing anything let me run that one more time and we can see what our max is on with uh, core temp here again we've got the uh let's see the chiller set at 49 degrees it's showing 53 degrees right now fahrenheit so i'd have to convert that over to celsius um but it's showing anywhere from 9 to 16 on each core so let's uh, let's run that W prime 1024m again and see how hot it gets Looks like our hottest core got to 72 degrees Celsius. That was uh, core number 15. So pretty cool, huh? Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Have a good night.